Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of uh, Hadoop MapReduce application development, uh, in this video I will try to cover um, or I will cover job configuration. So when it comes to job configuration, um, uh, there are uh, the configuration can be defined using configuration files. Uh, there are two set of files um, which which ends with default.xml and uh, site.xml and for the each of the services in uh, uh, each of the Hadoop components like HDFS, YARN for job um, execution framework and MapReduce to submit MapReduce jobs you have this set of files so there will be at, at the least six files of them HDFS default, YARN default, MapRed default and also HDFS site, YARN site, MapRed site.xml files and they are nothing but XML files which have properties with names and values. A uh, few of the examples are uh, fs.defaultfs which will uh, from core site.xml and also there is another file called core site.xml and core default.xml and as um, uh, fs.defaultfs is a parameter from core site.xml file and uh, that actually points to your uh, uh, name node uh, IP address. Similarly, resource manager uh, address will be uh, the IP address and port number for the resource manager which will be part of the AMP site.xml file. So these XML files uh, have hundreds of such kind of parameters like block size, replication factor, uh, memory settings for uh, uh, mappers, reducers or containers. Um, and also uh, IP addresses and port numbers for the uh, web interfaces all these things are part of these XML files and uh, also uh, the configurations which are set at, uh, uh, as part of the XML files are, uh, have to be overridden in certain cases uh, one perfect example is the number of reducers number of reducers by default is 1 uh, in uh, uh, Apache Hadoop or plain vanilla Hadoop uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, a open source uh, version of Hadoop and uh, by default it is one so when you submit a MapReduce job irrespective of the amount of data you are trying to process it will only use one reducer um, which can uh, cause significant performance related issues out of memory issues etc. So to address that issue, you have to uh, change the number of reducers depending upon your data size. Uh, data size. And uh, either you can do it programmatically or you can do it uh, as part of the command line. So if you want to uh, uh, overwrite one of the parameters, then you can use uh, minus D, minus capital D while running the MapReduce job. I have shown that earlier as well. Uh, but I am the asserting here uh, because it is uh, very important uh, to consolidate all the information related to job configuration and prepare a video for that. So minus D is to actually pass one parameter, uh, one or more parameters. Using, you can pass as many parameters as you want by using minus capital D for each of the parameter and you can override the values at the time of uh, running the job. But if there are too many that needs to be overridden, um, which includes the custom parameters also, you need to uh, doc, uh, you need to consolidate into an XML file, and those that XML file can be passed using minus conf. And then at times you need to have uh, uh, a data set um, shipped to all the nodes where the jobs are running. Uh, it is called a distributed cache and for that there is a parameter called minus files which you can use while submitting the jobs and then minus archives uh, also uh, similar purpose I don't remember exactly but it, it is similar purpose and libjars is to ship dependent jar files to a MapReduce program typically third party uh, so when you actually have Hadoop cluster each of the node will have all the core Hadoop uh, jar files. Uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you go to any of the nodes in the cluster and run this command find starting from root um, as a root as a user root 
if you run this command find uh, slash uh, which means you are starting from the root file system and name and uh, asterisk dot jar and hit enter under var lib you can see that there are bunch of jar files you you don't need to worry about ambari server this is specific to ambari but uh, other than ambari let me do this yeah you can see this uh, um, user hdp 2.3.0024.5.7 in this there are uh, jar files related to tez because we have tez on this a ranger hadoop map reduce um, etc so you will have all these jar files depending upon your configuration of the cluster which are typical uh, typically as part of hadoop ecosystem will be there on each of the node in the cluster you will see the same set of jar files of the same version on all the nodes in the cluster but at times uh, you might have to process data that that are dependent on the third party jar files which are not part of the hadoop ecosystem in that scenario you need to use libjars uh, by using minus libjars and you can give the uh, jar files that needs to be shipped um, as part of uh, uh, um, depend uh, as dependent jar files to your mapreduce program and then uh, add, uh, if you look at my video about uh, 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 client node in this series that uh, uh, I, I mentioned that one client one set of client nodes can support multiple Hadoop clusters so in that case uh, you need to change your uh, name node IP address uh, and resource manager IP address at runtime for that you have to you can use this shortcut uh, parameters like minus fs and minus jt and um, it will actually uh, try to execute uh, your map reduce programs using this resource manager or job tracker against this name node so uh, to demonstrate that so if you run this uh, program like this hadoop jar training dot jar and um, at some uh, java class this will this will uh, run against uh, the default configurations which are part of etc hadoop conf and uh, you can see that as part of coset.xml file the name uh, name node ip address is hard coded like this so by default, if when you run this program, this program will run against um, uh, whatever is there in coset.xml for on that client node. Similarly, if you uh, similar is the case with um, uh, resource manager. So to uh, to change uh, those parameters at runtime, what you can do is you can just say Hadoop jar training dot jar. You can give the class name also, and after that, typically, typically to change the parameters at runtime, we do minus d, and you can also pass the name node uh, uh, custom custom name node IP address using this way also no need to use minus fs itself so you can do like this and then you can give your and you can so uh, if if uh, th if this um, name node uh, IP address is accessible from this client, and if the jar files are compatible, it can run uh, on any uh, name node um, matching this IP address and hit enter. Okay.
input path does not exist hadoop fs minus ls let me use the small one so it uh, it resolved to the ip address as long as uh, this ip address is accessible from this node it can submit the map reduce jobs as long as the versions are compatible here we only or try to override the uh, uh, name node uh, ip address you can also change the resource manager ip address also but uh, instead of typing uh, this entire string like this what you can do is uh, they provide shortcuts like minus fs and uh, minus jt and you can use those things and hit enter it will complain saying that the directory already exists because uh, we just ran it with the same uh, um, output path so this is how uh, it will work you can just give minus fs it is same as um, minus uh, dfs dot default fs and then you have to give the ip address with port number where your name node is okay uh, so uh, once you have parameters in configuration files you can override them uh, either at command line or in the map reduce program so if you have the same parameter in configuration files um, and if they are not defined as final and if you try to override um, at runtime by using hadoop jar and if they are not uh, defined as final then whatever is there in the map reduce program will be in effect and uh, when it comes to map reduce program you can override any parameter using the uh, job and configuration objects so for example if you go to one of the drivers which i have uh, uh, developed as part of the earlier programs especially the compressed driver you can see that you can actually set and the configurations as part of your map reduce program also uh, so uh, either these can be set in uh, configuration files or these can be passed at the time of runtime using minus d or minus conf uh, uh, control arguments or you can actually use configuration object and set these parameter set uh, uh, in the program also so the priority will be uh, whichever comes uh, the whichever comes the last so in this case uh, uh, map reduce program will take uh, means the configuration settings that are set as part of the map reduce program will override uh, either uh, the parameters that are uh, that are uh, being overridden as part of the command line or that are defined as part of the configuration files unless the parameter is defined as final if there is a parameter which is defined as final as part of the configuration files you cannot change them as part of the uh, as part of runtime or as part of your programs okay so that is about configuration and uh, when it comes to managing configuration uh, i have mentioned that you can use minus conf to uh, to pass any custom xml file which will have which can have multiple uh, runtime parameters uh, and uh, these parameters can be need not be hadoop specific you can have your custom parameters also and you can pass certain uh, values at runtime which i have demonstrated as uh, part of the filtering programs uh, in hadoop map reduce application development play series or playlist and then the, these helpful classes tool tool runner generic options parser so tool is the object uh, which can be submitted as map reduce job and tool runner have this method uh, which we are using tool runner ha uh, have this method called run which we are using as part of uh, our programs uh, which will actually uh, submit the tool object in this case this implements the tool interface so you can pass this object to to be run by the tool runner as part of the run run method uh, and then generic options parser i think it is not much relevant uh, in latest versions 
but in earlier versions if you have these parameters using minus d minus files and all those things uh, those uh, uh, those have to be parsed by using generic options parser it has uh, uh, some methods like get remaining arguments and this method will filter out all the parameters uh, which are passed using the control arguments minus d minus files minus libjars etc and um, uh, will only uh, maintain the program arguments like input path output path uh, so uh, that's the purpose of this generic options parser but uh, as per my observation in the latest versions it is not that relevant uh, i think it is already inbuilt as part of the framework but in the earlier versions if you are trying to run your MapReduce jobs using minus d or minus files parameters then you have to use generic options parser to um, uh, uh, to, uh, to get uh, uh, your program arguments uh, segregated from the uh, rest of the arguments uh, which are passed using control, arg uh, control arguments and I will demonstrate as part of the next program in this case uh, I am just covering theoretically uh, to cover everything related to job configuration but uh, we will use generic option parser when we talk about the next program that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you have any technical questions, please use uh, uh, or, or if you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content over time. Thank you. Bye.